Welcome back to the Techmoto channel. In this video, we will be exploring how to get Jarvis to open applications on your Windows computer. You can then use voice commands to open calendars, web pages, security cameras and other useful software. Let's jump into our editing software. The first thing we need to do is add some libraries. First, we will need a library called, Threading. Second, we will need to access the subprocess library, and lastly we will call the web browser library. These will make sense as we write our code. Before we get into this though, we should understand the term, threading. When a computer runs code it starts at the beginning and runs through each line of code, until it gets to the end. Functions are ignored until they are called upon in the program. When a function call line is read, the program will jump to that section, read the code within the function, and then return to where it left off. As you know, the main program then loops, until the program gets some form of input from the user, or sensors of some sort. Whilst this is useful, what if you want to run a separate piece of code alongside this program? A separate animation, or a timer, whilst the main program is running. You can do this with threading, and call two or more pieces of code to run concurrently. For our code, to open applications I have used threading, so that the speed at which it opens the programs, does not interfere with the main program. Let's start with opening a web page. The first thing we do here is define, x. We denote a lambda function, which is a small anonymous function, and we assign the library web browser, and ask it to open a new window. We assign the U, R, L, in the brackets that we want to open. We then define, T. T, is where we call our new thread, and we tell it that the thread will be, X, which we previously defined as our web browser open command. All that is left to do then, is start, T. If you run this piece of code the web page you have called will open up. Try changing the destination to different pages. One time saving way of using this function is to call several pages at once. My user, has a function that calls all social media, and has this code behind that command. In one voice command you have Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Of course, you do not have to use threading here. You could just delete that, and have the web browser open in one line of code like this. It depends on your needs and how your code will run. Okay. So what if we want to open an application instead? All we do is call the library subprocess. Tell it to open an application and put the location of the executable file in the brackets. In this example I am calling the calculator. Be careful and precise with locations. You can load Windows software like Notepad, and WordPad, or open up software you have installed. You can even call upon another Python executable which would be similar to threading. This opens up all sorts of useful tools for Jarvis, as you could have a screen that shows Jarvis notifications, then call pictures, web pages or programs. For example, my user has a command, show me the front gate, which opens up the security camera software and selects that camera. You are only limited by your imagination. That's it for this one, I hope you found it useful. Please do like, and subscribe. It will make my user very happy to see you have joined us. Have a great day. Goodbye.